The Thermoworks Signals is a four channel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth thermometer. And today we're going to take a deep dive into the details to see if it's the right thermometer for you. Today we're going to show you the results of our four months of testing with the Thermoworks Signals 4-channel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth thermometer. We've tested this unit over 15 cooks that we've conducted on at least five different grills and smokers to give you a review with some real experience. Before I get into the review, make sure you stick with us to the end to learn how you can win in a giveaway that we're announcing during this video. More on that later, but let's get started with what's in the Thermoworks Signals box. There's the signals unit itself, and it comes with a plastic screen protector that you can just peel off before you get started. It comes with three Pro Series high temp cooking probes, and these are the probes that are designed to go into the things that you're cooking. There's also one Pro Series high temp air probe and a grate clip. This is the probe that you'll connect to your smoker or grill to find out what the air temperature is right at the level of the grate. There's also a 12 volt power adapter to charge the signals in between uses and eight high temperature silicone rings so you can put the same color ring on the ends of each probe so you know which probe goes with what. Let's also talk about what's not in the box. There's not a storage case for the signals or the probes. That's something that you can order separately and something you'll want to consider before you finalize your cart when you go to purchase one. There's also no probe organizers that come with the unit, and I have to point out how much I love the Thermoworks probe spools. If you haven't seen them before, these spools keep your probes from kinking or tangling in a drawer, and it makes things easy. There's also no billows pit control fan, which this unit can control if you're into charcoal smokers or grills. The fan allows your signals to control the air output and input of your cooker so that you don't have to worry about managing your grill. None of these come with a signals thermometer, but they're all great things to consider if you're thinking about pulling the trigger. When it comes to capability, the signals has a measurement range of negative 58 to 572 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 50 to 300 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature for the probes in a hot environment is 644 degrees Fahrenheit for the transition point and 700 degrees Fahrenheit for the cable. The cables are just shy of four feet in length, so when you're using the device, you'll want to keep it within four feet of your grill. Now, this isn't an instant read thermometer, so the time that it takes to get a reading isn't really that important in the grand scheme of things, but when you're watching it measure temperature, it will settle in with just a few seconds of lead time. Air temperature is where this really matters for me, since that's when I want to know if my fire is heading off the rails. When I have a probe and a pork butt or a brisket, I'm not concerned if it's giving me readings every five seconds or every one second, since we're talking about a good eight to 12 hour cook in most cases. I always verify with my Thermopen 1, but the speed is faster than I need on this unit for leave-in probes. The accuracy of the probes differs depending on the range that you're measuring. If you're measuring below 250 degrees Fahrenheit, they're accurate within 1.8 degrees. Between 200 and just shy of 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's accurate within 3.6 degrees, and over 400 degrees to almost 600 degrees, it's accurate to just about 5 degrees. I don't know about you, but when I'm using thermometers, I'm primarily temping the internal temperature of meat on a grill or smoker, and that's rarely above 210 degrees, which means this unit for my use is between 1 to 2 degrees of accuracy at all times. When I'm using this with the Billows fan control unit and I'm using the air probe to measure grill temperature, it's within three to four degrees and that's just fine by me. If you're more of a stickler than I am, then this may not be the one for you, but when it comes to meat temp, I'm always verifying with a thermopin anyway to make sure I'm right on target and it's accurate to within one degree. The dimensions of the signals unit itself is three and a quarter inches high by five and a quarter inches wide and just shy of two inches deep. There are three modes of use for the signals. There's a standalone mode when you're not worrying about Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Just use the buttons on the device and the screen and you're off to the races. Bluetooth mode is also available if there's no Wi-Fi where you're cooking. 
As long as you're within 95 feet of the unit, you're good to go. The last mode is my personal favorite and what I use the majority of the time. Wi-Fi mode connects the signals to the internet and you can access your temps wherever you go. I will often head to the grocery store or run out to grab something for the family while I'm doing a long cook and I can check my phone to see just where things are while I'm away. The waterproof rating is IP66, which means it's splash proof. I wouldn't go around submerging the signals under water for any period of time, but if it's left out in the rain during a cook like I've done a few times, there's nothing to worry about. When it comes to telling the probes apart once they're in the meat and on the grill, Thermoworks provides silicone rings for both ends of each probe. Eight are included in the package, which means you'll get a color to assign to each probe that you can see on the meat end of the probe and also on the signals end of the probe. The display size on the unit is just under two inches high and four inches wide, which is plenty of space for me to read temps when I'm cooking multiple slabs of meat. The signals has a backlight that you can turn on and off by pressing the power button on the back of the unit or the backlight button on the front of the unit. The backlight stays on for 20 seconds and then turns itself off. It also has an audible alarm that sounds up to 90 decibels if you want to make sure that you don't sleep through your brisket cook. I've left the alarm on for the base unit and had a neighbor call and ask what I was cooking when I forgot to turn it off. Yep, it's really that loud. You can adjust the volume or turn the alarm sound off by pressing the VOL button on the front. Since this is a Thermoworks product, there are a myriad of probe types available. There are ambient probes to measure air temperature and the grate clips to keep them in place. There are both straight probes and angled probes depending on what is going to be the better fit in your cooker as well as multiple lengths of each probe available. There's also the pro version of probes as well which are thinner for less meat presentation issues. People who do competition barbecue or steak competitions don't tend to like it when there are huge holes in their meat, so check those out if you're interested. Here's a couple of questions that we get from some of the visitors that we've had over here to the lab in the last few months. The first question is, will the signals and the billows fan start a charcoal grill? The answer is yes. As long as you put a fire starter in your coals and give it a few minutes to catch a few coals, this unit with the billows will bring a grill up to temperature and manage the temperature through a cook. Others wanted to know if the signals was easy to program. Well, there's two ways to use this thermometer system. One is with the manual buttons on the unit itself, and the other way is through the app that can be found on both the Android and Apple Store. If you use the app, everything is easier since it's touchscreen. Controlling the signals with the button on the unit isn't difficult once you get the hang of it, but it's just easier to use the app, which is what I default to most of the time. Thermoworks has a two-year warranty on this product, and you can find more information on their website if you're interested. Now let's take a few minutes and talk about some of the cooks that we did where we had the signals watch our temperatures for us. At the end of the 2020-2021 school year, we did a teacher appreciation cook. We never got to meet teachers because of the worldwide pandemic, but we've cooked up a pulled pork dinner for all of our kids' teachers that they came over and door dashed at the end of the year. We cooked up a bunch of pork shoulders and the signals kept us in the know about all of their temps. An overnight brisket is another memorable cook that the signals helped us out on. Since I had the pellet grill rolling low and slow overnight, I wanted something to be able to monitor the temperature of the grill and the brisket while I was sleeping, and there's nothing more convenient than letting my phone keep me posted if anything goes wrong. Luckily, everything went great, and we even shot that cook in a video called How to Cook a Brisket Overnight on a Pellet Grill. You can check it out on our channel. We even used the signals on the spatchcock turkey video that we filmed just about a week ago. We used the ambient temp probe and the angled pro series temp probe to monitor the temperature in the breast. That was an amazing turkey, and if you're looking for a turkey recipe, I wouldn't pass on this one. The magnetic back on the signals made it so that we could just attach the base unit to the air intake pipe on the pillar smoker. The air intake stayed nice and cool during the cook and it allowed the signals to stay close enough to the cooker that we didn't need a table or side shelf nearby. There are many more instances that we use the signals, but let's move on to showing you how to use the signals. Here's how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how to use the signals. On the back of the unit, you have a power button right here. 
We're gonna go ahead and start by hitting the power button. And you just have to push it once to turn it on and then it will go ahead and come on. That was the beeping sound. But in order to control this, you have not that many buttons on the bottom. The first thing would be the channel button, then the set button, up and down arrows, and then your backlight button and a volume button. So if you wanna look at the channel button, we'll go ahead and hit the channel button. It will go ahead and take us to the first channel. Now, it makes this first channel start blinking. And now if we wanna actually set something on the channel, we have to hit set. And when we hit set, you'll notice here at the top, we have the alarm on blinking. If we hit it up, alarm is now off, alarm is on. If we hit set again, it will take us to the high temperature and we can hold it and take it up or we can take it back down, whatever we want. Then set again, will take us to the low temperature. And then set again, will take us uh, out of channel one. If we hit channel again, we are at channel one, hit it again, we are at channel two, and the same thing applies. We can go ahead and get uh, all of the settings in channel two by hitting set. We can go alarm off and on, high temperature, low temperature, and then back out of channel two. Same thing works for all four channels. And this button right here is your backlight button. You can turn the backlight on or turn the backlight off using that. And the volume is, uh, it gives you varying degrees of volume or turns the volume off. So here's the volume button. And it is uh, substantially loud if you leave it at that highest button sound. And then there's off. So that is the manual uh, control of the Signals. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app on my phone. Here we are in the Signals app on my phone and you can tell that we have channel one, two, three, and four. Channels two, three, and four right now don't have a probe in there, but channel one does. I have a standard food temp probe plugged in. But one of the things that I really like about using the app is that we have the ability to hit channel one and we can rename it and you can name it anything you want. This could be turkey breast or pork butt or brisket one or whatever it is you wanna call it, pit probe, air temp. You can make all of those settings in here as well as, do you want the alarm off or on? You set the toggle switch up at the top. High temperature and low temperature. This is, do I, what do I want this to uh, sound the alarm at if I'm below 50 or above 160? And those are infinitely changeable. And then you just hit save for that channel and it will update here. So if, for example, I was gonna edit this channel and say this one is going to be chicken. So see. So chicken, hit save. So then this channel is named chicken and I could do the same thing for each one. So if I have a chicken and I have a pork butt and I have um, steak, whatever it might be, I can label each channel. But it's also quicker for me because I can go in there and say, okay, I know 160 is where I want to be on the high. Anything lower than, you know, 50 degrees is, is too low for me. But then when you get in here, you have all of these extra settings. So look, for example, we have the ring color here. It says green. This one happens to be blue. So I want to choose blue. That way I know this is the blue probe, which matches the color on the side of the signals as well. And then I can hit save. So notice I have blue that it's changed it to, and that blue color now matches my probe ring here on the signals, which I really, really like. So the thing is, there's a lot of customization you can do inside, as well as when you get into some of the deeper cooks, you can actually graph your cook. And this will show you the time that you put it on, it will show you the time now, and it will show you any of the variations that you've had in between. And it says you started nine minutes ago, there's so many cool things you can do inside the app for the signals. Overall, here's what we think about the ThermalWorks Signals 4-channel Wi-Fi thermometer. If 4 channels is the right amount for what you're cooking during the largest of gatherings, then the Signals was built for you. If you want to monitor the air temperature of your grill along with the temperature of your meat, then this is a good fit. I personally would like to set the signals up with four air temperature probes in our large offset smoker to see how hot each shelf gets when the cooker is running at different temperatures. This would be a perfect thermometer for that test and we might just do that in an upcoming video. If you'd like to have better control over your Kamado grill, smoker, or even your offset, pairing the billows fan with the signals gives you temperature control along with air temp 
and meat temp all in a single unit. This is what's made it one of my go-to thermometers when I'm out cooking in the outdoor kitchen. Right now, the Signals is at its lowest price of the year, and so if you want to get in on the lowest price available, make sure you click the link in the description below, and it's going to take you to the lowest price you can get. Hey, it's time to announce our winner from the last video for the Sasquatch Burger Press giveaway, and that winner is Daniel Kenny, who is looking for a good instant read thermometer. So Daniel, go ahead and shoot us an email at info at thebarbecuelab.com, and we'll make sure to get that prize out to you as soon as possible. Now, if you want to enter to win, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then go ahead and tell us in the comments below what cook you would do if you had the ThermalWorks Signals thermometer. Now, we're talking about your dream cook. You've got four channels to work with. What would you use each one for, and what would you plug that thermometer into? So go crazy, tell me what your dream cook would be, and I can't wait to hear it. And we'll pick one of those comments at the end of our next video to be the winner. Once again, I'm David from The Barbecue Lab. If you haven't followed us on social media yet, we're out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're always putting out the sales and deals of the barbecue world, as well as letting you know when new videos are up. And if you just wanna know when new videos are up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. It's gonna make sure that you know as soon as we put up new content. And we love being able to help you up your backyard game for your friends and family. So thanks again for joining us and I can't wait to see you next time right here in the Barbecue Lounge.